we do not sell cheap because we don't like to lose our reputation. Make website with the customers at the same time on the same screen. The competition is very low. In business, you need to manage with numbers. Expensive, it means quality. And of course, of course, conversions, conversions, conversions. Hi, let's talk about hosting in Saudi Arabia. So, country is quite big. 36 million of people and 90% of them are local. So if you compare, let's say, to other Arabic countries, let's say Dubai. In Dubai, only 10% of locals. So here, 90% of locals and only like 10 people, foreigners who came here for work, for study or something else. Internet here is technically like accident. 100% of population, 100%, not 99, connected to internet. If you go to desert, if you go through off-roads, internet is probably everywhere. Of course, if you go very deep on mountains, sometimes you miss it. And the quality is also nice. At the iPod, with my iPhone, I got more than 1000 GB. Like, so it's something like, sounds like incredible, like 1000 GB, like, wow. But in some cities like this, uh, internet is lower. But technically, country is quite good covered, and I said, when you travel from capital to to the west side, let's say 15 hours in deserts, you have internet all the time, so it's quite nice. The main here costs about 25 euros, 20-25, depends on the register. But to register the domain is really, really difficult because you need documents, you need to prove that you are a real person, you need to apply like passport. So for SA domain, you need uh, some documents. For com.sa, you need the company license, so they check you manually uh, and provide the uh, domain only for specific businesses. So if you are not in, from Saudi Arabia, you'll never get .com.sa, so there, there are some restrictions. Also, because of that, there are only 33,000 domains of .sa and about uh, 22 of com.sa. By the way, for me, like, SA is much better than com.sa. But uh, com.sa have more restrictions and also less quantity, about 20,000. So domain at 11, that country is really, really very low. And if you go and talk, if we talk about support, support here is mostly in Arabic because 99% here is Muslims. And the local people usually know English because they usually are educated or some people came from, let's say, Pakistan, from India, uh, so, let's say, I don't know, Levan, uh, Jordan, so mostly they also know English. And uh, English, so we can speak English here probably everywhere, but in support, usually people write in Arabic because of uh, situation in the country. If we talk about quality or price, so this is country where quality is number one. So, as a local said, we um, we do not sell cheap because we don't like to lose our reputation. So expensive, it means quality. So if we, let's say, go to Emirates, in Emirates, we have lots of people from India who sell very cheap and who decrease all price. So here, people try to sell hosting 50 euros per year, it's cheapest price, but usually you can find 100, 200 euros or ever for 1,000 euros, it's more like 4,000 SARS in local currency, like thousand euros per year for hosting so it's really sounds like incredible so here is association expensive is good so everybody try to go expensive and if we see uh, like education of hosting companies i do not talk about data centers i don't talk about esps i just talking about hosting business regular shared hosting they're really not very educated so the competition is very low so to 36 million of people you have like 50,000 local domains, it's like nothing, hosting like only starting here. It's not like in Dubai. By the way, people prefer here quality, but you never see here very expensive cars or something like that. So in business, they prefer quality, but it's not luxury like in uh, like uh, Qatar or Arabic Emirates. And uh, usually people prefer local here. So if they would like to buy from foreigners or from locals, of course they buy from locals. It's like friendship business. Because when it's huge numbers, like huge quantities, people like focus on pricing, on conversions. But when it's low quality, people, people uh, like uh, they work with friends, with, uh, with uh, like local businesses. So 
So locals prefer to work with locals and if they go global only if they provide really significantly better quality. The main payment aggregator here is Sadat. He aggregates banks, so you like sending like invoice and Sadat provides this invoice to banks and when you log into bank, you can pay this invoice through bank, so it's something like this. But technically you can pay with local cards, with global cards, and uh, so global cards are very welcome here. And uh, PayPal is also very popular here. By the way, sometimes some sometimes you unable to pay with your real card. You need to have local card, but there's really more exceptions like five ten percent of operations. What about website builders? Because of this country specifics, and because uh, local people would like to to work with their friends, website build so global website builders are not so popular here. Of course, SitePro is very welcome here, and uh, people love website import. We have uh, our, our like good friends who did their website using our website import and sell this, our services to others. So it's really a ni nice example. So website import quantity growing here, and it's, it's very nice. And also collaborate feature when uh, Design Studio can make website with the customer at the same time on the same screen it's really like coming but in the country because its quantities here are not huge so it's not very popular but it's coming and uh, some life hacks from our business we start see to our customers we start look at our customers as partners and this provides us much more revenue so now we changing our strategy and we start now we start understanding what is partners and what is customers. Uh, so this will provide for us lots of revenue. And of course, of course, conversions, conversions, conversions. We we see and we talk to hosting companies and we see like 95% of hosting companies are not educated at all. They don't know how to track customers. They do not calculate, they do not calculate conversions, lifetimes retentions, uh, uh, churn rate, they just intuitively, so they intuitively manage digital business. So digital need business you need to manage with numbers. And uh, to manage business without numbers is like doing some magic. Sometimes you succeed, sometimes not, you're just guessing. But with numbers, you are much more stronger. So use your partners, use numbers and be successful. And use best website builder here.